each detainee has had kind of a psychological assessment and a plan kind of created for interrogating him depending on his weaknesses and vulnerabilities. On June 23, 2005, a group of psychologists conferred on the ethical dilemmas of a new role for military psychologists, assisting detainee interrogations. Now the doctors and the psychiatrists have said they're not going to play ball. That only leaves psychologists. I don't see any role for, for a healthcare practitioner to be in the interrogation, to even shape the interrogation. We are now standing against the American Psychiatric Association, the American Medical Association, the British Psychological Society, numerous human rights organizations, and this detention and interrogation policy is going to go down. How does one achieve Len's first objective, which is to stop torture? Do you adopt a policy of engagement or a policy of disengagement. It is never okay to say in this particular case, what I know as a psychologist, uh, I will help you to break this person. I believe there's a place for psychology, but they should not be part of the interrogation process. And, I, and I'm talking about both physicians and psych personnel, you know, conspiring essentially to break detainees mentally uh, in order to accomplish the, the greater objective of uh, the detention mission. 